Hello, hello, I'm Leo Marius Reyes. First of all, I want to thank to the Symposium team for the invitation. It's a pleasure for me to be in here. And the main idea about this talk is to just take a look about which are these important points that we have to keep in mind when we are started in .NET MAUI and we are just continue with .NET MAUI. So it's important to know which are these important points just to highlight, to study it, and to go in deeper about what is this. And that's why the title is Getting Started with .NET Maui. But first of all, I want to make my presentation. I'm Leo Maris Reyes, I'm a student in Lithium Platzi, I'm a software engineer in the Dominican Republic, and I'm a Microsoft MVP per three years in a row, specifically in the developer technologies with .NET Maui and with Samari. I'm also a content editor and I have my little baby that is my blog as Sami.com in which I usually write about Samarin and Maui. And I also had uh, the Samarin certified mobile developer when you have the certification in Samarin. And then I want to make a summary about which are the most important points that we will be speaking about. The first is that we'll, we will be giving the welcome to the .NET multi-platform app UI that is Maui. And we will be seeing some tips and some important points to highlight when we want to adapt about an, an app that is in summary to the net Maui. Also, we will be speaking about some important points to highlight and about the net Maui essentials, is something that I love, and the most important improving in the net Maui. And finally, how are we moving forward? So let's start. The first topic is just to give the welcome to the .NET multi-platform app UI. And I want to that you pay attention to this slide. As we can see, I leave three important points on which that I want that you keep in mind. And I also leave you an important image which allows you to understand better what is the .NET Maui. In this case, I want to start with the image. For example, you can see that you have the .dexis and all that is .NET multi-platform app UI summary is covered in .NET Sys. And also we have the iOS, the Android, the macOS, the Windows platform. And that means that it also we will be including in .NET Maui. And just going deeper to the three points that I want to highlight, it's a cross-platform framework for building native desktop and mobile application with C Sharp and SAML. And it was announced on May 19 in 2020 at the Microsoft Beat. And as I was speaking, it's part of .NET 6. And the last point is that provides control for hybrid laser head scenario. Continue with the tips that will be helping to adapt the summary to .NET Maui apps. As you can see in the image that is attached for example, in summary forms, you know that you have the summary forms. You have all, all of the controls that you need here. But in this case, if you want to use it in the .NET MAUI, you have to replace it by system MAUI. It's the same with summary essential. In this case, you we will be naming system devices. And with Visual Studio Code, actually for summary, we do not have. But for the MAUI, we will behave it. For Android, Samarin supports from AP19 or higher, and .NET MAUI supports AP421 or higher. On iOS, in Samarin supports from 9 to 30, and .NET MAUI from 10 to higher. The Linux support will be continue doing by the community, that the community is doing an amazing contribution, an amazing work about that. And the MacOS supports in summary is supported by the community, but in .NET MAUI will be supported by the Microsoft team. And also in Windows, it supported the community in summary forms, but in .NET MAUI will be supported by Microsoft. Just take a look if you want, take a screenshot, take pictures about that, and it's important that you keep in mind once you think about migrating your summary apps to .NET MAUI apps. Now I want to highlight some important points that I usually uh, listen about the comments about summary about .NET MAUI. The first and for me the most important is that MAUI is a new framework. 
It's the evolution of summary based upon all the knowledge that we have gained about summary. But it's not that summary is changing the name. It's the same. Are different tools that then Maui is a new framework. So keep in mind this point. The other point is that you could migrate summary application to Maui without problems. As we were we only speaking in the previous slide, you have all the facilities to do it, but also we will be having a tool available to make easier the migration from summary to .NET MAUI. And also you can continue practicing both summary and .NET MAUI. It's an advantage just to continue practicing summary to continue implementing in .NET MAUI. That is a tool that is in preview yet, and it's an important point, it's an interesting point to continue your growing up just practice in a, in a tool that is before that, in this case, is summary. Continue with the points that I want to highlight. All the important points is that .NET Maui came to us to make better the performance. We will be hearing a performance improvement. Another point is that we will be seeing new options enabled, such as mobile model view update, that is the MVU pattern, as you, you probably know the MBBM, you also will be having the MBU, and it's important to take a look, to take note about, oh my God, I have to study the MBU. So it's too beautiful, and please read more deeply about that. And the third is that we will be having facility in the extension of controls. So now I want to pass to the other important topics that I personally really love, is that we will be keeping the same essential, that summary essential. But in this case, for the MAUI, we, we will be using the .NET MAUI essentials. And it's the same. It provides cross-platform APIs for native devices features, such as access to the sensors, accelerometer, confax, for example. We will be also have the access to the connectivity status checks, the information about devices and the text readers, and all these amazing important APIs that we right now had available in Summary Essential, but in this case, we will be passing to the Net Power Essentials. Now, I want to continue to the most important improvement from Summary to .NET Bowie. The first for me is the one of the most important is the single project. It's probably that you know that when we are creating a project in Summary, we have the core project and we have a project per each platform. In this case, we have a, a solution, a project for Android over for iOS and so on. And in this case, we will make it uh, we will be wrapping up all this knowledge in just one project, and that's the single project name. It's a project that targets a multiple platform devices, so we can continue running all the devices that we used to run in summary, but in this case to Maui. A single location to manage resources like funds and manage. I really love this, so I will be explaining better in the next slide about this point and multiple targeting to organize platform-specific code. So, let's go in deeper to the handle of the resource. You just have unique resource. You have no longer need to perform images conversion for its platform or dimension. For example, I, I know that you remember that when you are working on summary, for example, on Android, you have to take an image and to convert to the HTTP, MTP, and so on. And it's happening the same with the iOS uh, from the dimension that are required. But in this case, you just have to have one image. And with one image, .NET Maui will be doing the magic just to convert automatically about the image and dimension from the specific device on which you are running. So you do not have to uh, think about it because .NET Maui will be working for you. And continue to the exist access to the other platform. I know that you are probably asking about, oh my God, how if I have to make an implementation, for example, specifically in Android or in iOS. 
So you also can do it. So as you can see in the image that is attached, you have the platform folder on which you have the Android folder, the iOS folder, the Mac Catalyst folder, and the Windows folders. So if you need it, of all the, please take a look. If you need it, it's important that you know that you can do it, that you have the folders available to do it. So take a look at this. Continue with other point that I also love is that you have a quick access to the devices and emulator. You know that in Samani, for example, if you have to run in a specific emulator or device, you have to first select which is this project. For example, you have to run on Android and you have to establish this project as a main project. And then you have to go to and on the top e just find per the emulator or the device about Android that you have, and you have this, the, to do the same steps for iOS. But in this case, use in one step has all the emulators and the devices that you need, both Android or in iOS, as you can see in the image. And this is amazing because it allows you to save time. And once we have uh, speaking about these important uh, topics and changes that we, I want to, uh, wanted to highlight, let's continue with the other important points. Is that how are we moving forward? In this case, for example, I leave you an, an example about the .NET MAUI Essential, but you can work with whatever you want that is available in .NET MAUI. So how do I access to the MAUI resources? I give, leave you some a short step about how to, deal, to do it, for example, on Windows. From Windows, you can install Visual Studio 2022 Preview and confirm that .NET MAUI Preview is checked under the mobile developer with .NET Workload. And we, this will be available on your company and you can use to start working about all that you want to do. You can implement even the, the Maui Essentials and you can to continue working with all the controls that we will be speaking about in the following slide and the controls that you yeah, know about summary. But you also can install for Mac using the command line. So keep in mind, just take a look about that. And if you have not yet started practicing, you can start from there now. And this other um, slide is too important for me because I leave you some new features of the, the Maui. And for example, in this image, I have shadows, I have borders, and these are one of the a lot of new features that we have in .NET MAUI available. But also, as you can see, we also have previous um, controls that we have now. For example, in this case, the collection view. I personally love the collection view because it's to help uh, too useful for our UI um, allow us to display and to save uh, space displaying the data in our devices. So take a look about this. It's important that you um, could be reading about which are these new features, this preview. Uh, for example, in this case, oh my God, we have shadows, we have forward, and it's important to know use uh, to continue towards to start working in .NET MAUI. Finally, it's important to know how can I contribute to the .NET MAUI. The first is that contribute to MAUI reviews. Please keep reading about all the previews. Generally, month three, you can see a new preview, and it's important to keep reading to know all the new features. And if you identify something that have to be reviewed, please, Microsoft Teams has um, a portal, a website on which you can do it. So. Take your time, it's important. The other important point, one of the most important, is just to continue experiment, trying, being creative, just starting, starting practices. I don't know, you can replicate, for example, IUI and the Maui from the next summary. You can start in just creating a little migration, and this will be helping you to continue growing, to experiment to know, to learn, and to be creative. And finally, if you um, see any Microsoft Challenge or something like that, just participate. This is amazing. And this will be happy, and this will be also helping you to help the Microsoft team. And thank you so much for your attention. I hope that this presentation 
is useful for you and I leave you my contact information. I have my blog that is asksami.com. You can follow me in Twitter uh, with the user Leomaris Reyes 11 and in LinkedIn as Leomaris Reyes. So thank you so much for being here. If you have some questions you can ask me, I will be here just to answer. Thank you so much. See you later. Bye bye.